Good evening and welcome to the Monday, April 3rd, 2023, regular meeting of the Frankfurt Village Board. Um, we call this meeting to order and we ask our clerk, Deputy Clerk, Teresa Cork, to take the roll, please. Thank you. Mayor Ogle? Here. Trustee Rossi? Here. Trustee Borelli? Here. Trustee Petro? Here. Trustee Farina? Here. Trustee Sabaria? Here. Trustee Ledden? Here. Attorney Lamore? Attorney Mahoney? Here. Chief Tilipas? Here. Village Administrator Pisha? Here. Assistant Administrator Barika? Present. Clerk Sherbert is absent. Thank you. If everyone would please stand, join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next item on our agenda here is what's called the unanimous consent agenda. All items on the consent agenda are considered to be routine in nature and will be enacted in one motion. There is no separate discussion of these items unless a board member so requests, in which event the item will be removed from the consent agenda and will be considered separately. At this time, I ask if anyone would like to remove any items from the consent agenda. approval and release of certain closed minute meeting minutes and destruction of verbatim recordings. Okay, thank you. And uh, Trustee Borelli, you would uh, like this to be considered at a different time, is that correct? That, that's correct, Mayor. Okay, thank you. So we will not be voting on that after the consent agenda. So we've removed item D and uh, we will be going through the other items that are on the consent agenda uh, so that those who are in the audience and as well as those who'd be watching on video or at a later time uh, understand what we're we're going through and uh, and what's in in the packets which are also on the village board um, on the website so first we'll go for the approval of the bills uh, we have no changes to the the meeting minutes from March 20th uh, we'll go to the bills with trustee Sabaria thank you mr. Sure. mayor bills tonight equal one million six hundred fifty two thousand one hundred forty dollars the general corporate fund was two hundred fifty eight thousand six hundred sixty dollars Capital Development Fund was $24,779. Sewer and Water Operations and Maintenance, $93,093. And then the Sewer and Water Extension Fund was $1,275,607, with $1,094,689 coming from the Wastewater Treatment Plant Loan Payment. And that's my bills. Thank you, Trustee Savaria. And now we'll go to Trustee Borelli with uh, an item about the Historic Building Survey. Thank you, Mayor. The Village of Frankfurt was awarded a certified local government grant from the Illinois Department of uh, Natural Resources in the amount of $24,500 to conduct a historic building survey for the H1 Historic District and the original town of Frankfurt is platted in 1855. <coughs> there are 213 properties within the survey project area. The grant is a 70-30 match with the village to contribute 30% and be reimbursed for 70% of the project cost. In October 2022, the village received three responses to a request for proposal for the professional services for the project. After careful review, staff recommended McGuire, Gleski and Associates Incorporated as the preferred firm. The proposal for McGuire, Gleski and Associates includes a project cost of $34,840.00. Uh, the motion before us tonight is to adopt a resolution accepting the proposal for McGuire, Gleski and Associate, Associates Incorporated to conduct a historic building survey for a project cost of $34,840.00 of which the village is eligible to receive reimbursement for 70% up to $24,500 as part of the certified local government grant from the Illinois Department of Natural Resources. Thank you, Trustee Borelli. Uh, we have a motion in a second with the consent agenda and at this time, go to our Deputy Clerk, Teresa Cork, for the vote. I don't think we have a motion in a second. Oh, I'm sorry, we did yeah. not. Okay, so we have a motion. We needed a second to remove it. I uh, know we did not. No. To, to remove it. To remove it from the item, George. We just to remove it. Just remove it. Just remove it. Yeah, uh, but you're right. We don't have a motion or a second. Oh. Oh, I'll move so to approve the consent agenda. Okay, and then okay, Trustee so Farina, Farina, second. All right. Deputy All right. Clerk. Now the vote. Sorry. All right, Trustee Leiden. Trustee Savaria? Yes. Trustee Farina? Yes. Trustee Petro? Yes. Trustee Borelli? Yes. Trustee Rossi? Yes. Motion carries. All right, the next item on here is what's called the mayor's report. 
And uh, <coughs> I do have something I want to say here too. Um, ladies and gentlemen, there has been a lot of discourse and a lot of disinformation surrounding the Kids Works Children's Museum and their announcement that they were moving to New Lenox. I have asked staff to compile the facts and the timeline that I'd like to share with you to clear up this matter. On November 3rd, we had a meeting with Kids Works. They were exploring their options and they said they would be meeting with the Frankfurt Park District, the Frankfurt Square Park District, and also with Will County. My understanding at the time is that they wanted to be full-time government employees with pensions and benefits. And this is uh, many years, many years that we've, we've talked with, uh, with the Kids Works Museum about this. On January 24th, Kids Works met with a committee of the Frankfurt Park District. Um, from the minutes, it said they were there to discuss their vision to merge with the Park District. On March 8th, I spoke with all six of our trustees, confirming that they wanted Kids Works to make a presentation before our board, which they did. Uh, I then confirmed by email with Kids Works that they would be here on April 12th. On March 23rd, a press release stating that they were moving to New Lenox was published in the patch. The village and I were disappointed and blindsided by this announcement, and I believe the Park District probably was as well. I spoke with the museum president the next morning, and I respectfully asked them to honor their commitment and make a presentation to our village board on April 12th as agreed upon. Unfortunately, on March 27th, the New Lenox Village Board voted to approve purchasing 2.8 acres for $600,000 and building a $4 million building. So where does that leave Frankfurt? Well, the good news is they will only be a few minutes away and the Lincoln Way area will continue to benefit from this expansion and we'll be able to share this wonderful experience in ways that would not have been possible otherwise. As much as we don't wanna see them go, much like a child who we have watched grow and nurtured and then they leave home, there is simply not enough space in our downtown to support their expansion and their growth. There will be other opportunities to replace that space and there have already been inquiries about that. And I do hope this clears up the matter and that we all have a clear understanding of what took place. And representatives from Kids Works are still scheduled to be at our committee of the whole on April 12th. Next item on the mayor's report is we have applications for committees to fill. There's some open ones. The Village of Frankfurt is currently accepting applications for appointment to the Police Pension Board and the Historic Preservation Commission. Residents of Frankfurt who wish to submit applications for the appointments are encouraged to do so. Applications are available at the Village Administration Building or online at frankfurtil.org. All applications must be turned in by 4 p.m. on Monday, April 10th this year. The Frankfurt Arts Association will host their second annual student art show from April 13th through July 13th at the Frankfurt Village Hall. The exhibit will showcase artwork of K through 12 students and you should visit frankfurtartsassociation.org for more information. The Village of Frankfurt will mark Saturday, April 22nd, 2023 as its annual Earth Day Harbor Day celebration. All residents and civic groups are invited to join us for a morning of cleaning up the village. Gloves, garbage bags, and a free t-shirt will be provided to all participants. The evening or the event will conclude with a volunteer luncheon at 11.30 at the Utilities Public Works Facility, which is at 524 Center Road. And you should visit, visit the village website for details or contact Sue Lynchy at 469-2177. And finally, the Spring Country Market is scheduled to open on Sunday, April 23rd. The hours for the market are from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. And that concludes the mayor's report tonight. And we will go to board comments and we will start with Trustee Ledden. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, well, election day is tomorrow. So good luck to everybody who's running. And thank you for everybody who's taken part in these elections. Thank you to the village for the early voting. We had a great turnout here in Frankfurt for that. I think that's remarkable considering where some of the numbers have been in past years. So that's a um, good turnout, it's exciting. And I really would like to thank everybody who's taken the time to go through this process, whether it's for the village, park district, school board. Um, you know, I know it's, it's not a small undertaking and appreciate your interest and your commitment to the community you live in. Thank you. 
Thank you, Trustee Ledden. Trustee Savari. Thank you, Mayor. Um, as Trustee Ledden said, uh, tomorrow is the last day to vote. Hopefully everybody gets out and exercises your right. Um, the one thing I'll say is that I'm not sure who's going to be sitting on this board um, after the election, but whoever it is, just remember that the election is over. Put the politics behind you and govern. Brad Cole came in two years ago and said, the people sitting on this board have won. So, you know, put your, your personal beliefs or issues behind you, put your politics behind you, and govern, serve the people. And that's all I have to say. Thank you, Trustee Charlie. <coughs> Trustee Farina. Thank you, Mayor Ogle. Uh, this, week, this week marks the holiest week for Christians as we head toward Good Friday and then Sunday as we celebrate Easter. So for those celebrating, I wish you a happy and blessed Easter. Thank you, Mayor Ogle. Oh, thank you, Trustee Farina. Trustee Petro. Thank you, Mayor Ogle. I just wanted to comment a little bit further on the historic building survey. Um, one, I wanted to applaud staff for, again, you know, looking into the different grants that Frankfurt is eligible for. Frankfurt is one of 34 communities that is a certified local government in Illinois, and that makes us eligible for these grants every year. That money comes out of Springfield, and it's really designated to areas that have put a substantial effort together to support their historic areas. Um, our historic survey is probably a little overdue, but I'm excited that we're going to be able to get it. And certainly with a 70% grant, it's really exciting for our community. It's going to help us bring out our 2040 comprehensive plan goals around guidelines for H1 district, as well as our design guidelines for the residential area. So I'm very excited to see that come together. Also, there is, as Dr. Um, Mayor Ogle had mentioned, there's an opening for the Historic Preservation Committee. That committee meets about once a month, and I just want to remind everyone, you definitely don't have to be an expert in historic buildings, just a passion for the area and wanting to learn and serve the community. Um, I would welcome anybody to reach out to someone on the board or any of the trustees to talk a little further about that committee, but encourage people to get involved. It's a great way to step inside of government and have an impact on your community. Um, I would also like to note that I appreciate Mayor Ogle's comments around the timeline. I think there's some further details that we want to be able to explore, and I am looking forward to hearing from the Kids Work Museum at the April 12th meeting. That is our committee meeting. That's on the second Wednesday of every month at 530. Thank you, Mayor Ogle. Thank you, Trustee Petro. Trustee Burley. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, yeah, I encourage everyone to, to vote tomorrow. Um, uh, historically, the consolidated election that doesn't include a, a, a mayor race is low. It's extremely low. Um, about one in five will actually register voters will actually vote. So your, your vote can actually make a difference in this race. So uh, I just encourage everyone to exercise their right to, to vote. Um, and I want to wish my dad a happy 76th birthday. Happy birthday, Dad. Thank, thank you, Trustee Burley. And happy birthday to your dad. Uh, Trustee Rossi. Thank you. I'll stay off the election train right now. Um, I would like to say, though, just remind, Friday night I was in the area where a tornado hit. It is scary. It is dangerous. Just remind families, have a plan at home. This is the season for these type of situations. So please work with your family and have a, a plan on what to do in case a tornado should hit. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, now we'll go to our village administrator, Rob Pisha. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, just want to let people know you may be starting to see some activity around uh, the Borg Warner property. Uh, they have uh, submitted for a demo permit for, uh, for the building and for the property itself. Uh, the company uh, is proposing uh, single family residents and uh, I think a mixture of townhomes and single family. And so you're probably going to see a lot of activity, especially as the, the demo takes place. There's going to be a lot of, unfortunately, vehicles that have to remove the materials and that kind of thing. They've talked about uh, trying to demo the inside of the building first and then do, uh, do the outside in the parking lot. So just wanted to let people know because, again, you start seeing a lot of activity and wonder what's going on with it. Uh, and as like I said, as the development comes forward, you'll have more information about exactly what, the, what they're going to propose. I uh, just want to let people know it's uh, the time of the year. We've begun uh, branch pickup, so you may have seen uh, crews out uh, today started uh, picking up branches, so people can now, uh, once again, if you want to trim uh, trees and bushes in your yard, you can do that. You can put them out, uh, out by the curb. 
and we try to go around the entire town uh, each week uh, to pick up the branches. So that has begun today, and also wanted to wish everybody who celebrates Happy Easter and uh, uh, Passover as well. That's the end of my report. Thank you, Ron. And now we go to Chief Chalepas for the Police Department report. Thank you, Mayor. We are hiring community service officers right now, so if anyone knows uh, someone that's interested, they could pick up an application at our police department. Community service officers are, again, our, our young men in, not at this time, but ladies in light blue shirts that help us with low-risk service calls, parking enforcement, and clerical errands. So if you know someone interested, please send them our way. Also, I'd just like to remind everyone that if you have a special interest group, an HOA, uh, some type of community group, and you would like a police officer to attend, we are more than willing to attend these types of meetings. So if you have a particular concern in mind and you would like us to address that concern or you just want general safety information, we're happy to attend those at any time. You can set those up by either emailing us at admin at frankfordil.org or you can just give us a call. And that's all I have tonight, Mayor. Thank you, Chief. Now we go to our attorneys, Hannah Lamore and George Mahoney for the attorney's report. No report tonight. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Uh, any other business to come before the board tonight? Yes, Trustee Petrie. Um, Rob, just to follow up to your board warner, can you comment? I thought I remember recalling something about their demo being that they were recycling materials. Can you confirm that? Yes, uh, we believe the company that uh, bought the property actually is a, a recycler, and I think that's how helped uh, with the sale of the property. So yes, they're intending on uh, recycling the materials that are coming out of the building. Thank you, I think that's important to note mm -hmm. with all of the uh, yeah. raw materials <laughs> over there. Um, the other comment that I had was just about the bills and I know that we've done such a good job of making sure that we shop local where we can. But one thing I wanted to call out was the Earth Day cookies, um, especially with the on the heels of the Kids Work Museum, you know, the kids not necessarily being there, we do have quite a bit of cookies and candy shops that we could choose to shop local from. So I think whenever we have those opportunities, if we can do that, it would be appreciated by our local businesses. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Trustee Petro. Uh, no other business? Um, we go to what's called public comment, and is there anyone in the audience who would like to comment before the board tonight? Hearing none, can I get a motion to adjourn? So moved. Got a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Meeting is adjourned. Thank you, everyone.